So here we have a number line. As you can see, 0 is at the center. The negative numbers are going towards the left, and the positive numbers are going towards the right. From now on, I want you to assume that the negative numbers are moving towards the left, and the positive numbers are moving towards the right. The greater the magnitude of a positive number, the more it is towards the right. So if 2 is here, 10 is all the way over there, and 20 will, will be even further towards the right. And if negative 1 is here, negative 3 is over there, negative 6 is there, and let's say negative 30 will be further towards the left. So I repeat, from now on, assume that the negative numbers are going towards the left and the positive numbers are going towards the right. So negative numbers towards the left and the positive numbers are going towards the right. So here we have a question where minus 2 is being added to positive 3. Now remember what I said, the negative numbers are moving towards the left. So the minus 2 is moving towards the left and the positive number, the positive 3, is moving towards the right. Now, clearly, they're moving, they are move, moving in, in different directions. They are in opposition. Who will win in this struggle? Clearly, the one with the greater magnitude will win. The 3 has the greater magnitude. Therefore, the positive will win. What does this mean? This means that my final answer will be a positive. Now, because they are in opposition, they're moving in the opposite direction, all I need to do is just work out the difference, subtract them. The larger number take away the smaller number. What's 3 take away 2? Well, 3 take away 2 is clearly 1. So my answer is positive 1. Now, let me just repeat that again. The minus 2, the negative 2, is moving towards the left. The positive 3 is moving towards the right. They are in opposition. Another way of looking at this, just imagine that someone is moving two steps to the left and the other person is moving three steps to the right. Or one person is pulling two steps to the left and the other person is trying to pull them back three steps to the right. Who will win in this struggle? Well, clearly with the one with the greater magnitude. The positive one, the one that's moving to the right, has the greater magnitude because this is moving two steps to the left and this is moving three steps to the right. He has the greater strength. And when they are in opposition, all we need to do is just subtract them. Three take away two is one, and my answer is positive one. Now, we can visualize this on the number line. The negative two is moving us two steps to the left. So let's write this. So it's moving us two steps to the left. So from zero, it's moving one, two to the left here. But the positive three is pulling us back three steps to the right. So the positive three is moving us three steps to the right. So from the negative two, we're moving one, two, 3. And as you can see, clearly we arrive at 1, so my answer is 1. Suppose we had another question, let's say minus 3, minus 5. Now, clearly you can see that these two are moving, are both negative, therefore they're both moving in the same direction, they're both moving towards the left. Now, when two things are moving in the same direction, we say they are in harmony. They are not in opposition, they are in harmony. When things are in harmony, all we need to do is just add the numbers. 3 at 5 is 8, and my answer is minus 8. Another way of looking at this is we're moving three steps to the left first, three steps to the left, and then another five steps, which will mean that we arrive at minus eight. 
But the simplest way to look at this is that, remember, when the things are moving in the same direction, we can just combine the numbers. We, we just add the numbers and just stick the minus sign. So suppose we had another question, 4 minus 7. What would be the answer to this? Well, first of all, you need to identify what direction the numbers are moving in, which one is positive and which one is negative. Now, I have found that students find it difficult to identify which number is positive and which number is negative. The easiest way to do this is look at the left-hand side of each number. The left-hand side of each number. Whatever sign there is on the left-hand side of each number, the left-hand side of each number determines whether it is positive or negative. So what is on the left-hand side of this number of 4? The, on the left-hand side of 4, there is nothing here, and therefore we assume that this is positive. If there's a plus sign or if th or if nothing is there, we have to assume that it is positive. So the 4 is positive, therefore it is moving towards the right. And the minus and the 7 on the left-hand side, it has a, a negative sign there. Therefore, this is negative. This is negative 7. It is moving towards the left. Now, clearly, they are in opposition. They are not in harmony. Now, remember what, what I said? If they are in opposition, we subtract them. We work out the difference. The larger number take away the smaller number. What's 7 take away 4? Well, clearly, 7 take away 4 is just 3. Now, will the answer be positive or negative? Well, well, what is the magnitude of each number? Well, the positive number, the positive 4, has a magnitude of 4. The negative 7 has a magnitude of 7. Which one has the greater magnitude? Well, clearly the negative number has the greater magnitude. Therefore, the negative will win. Therefore, my answer will be negative 3. And you can clearly see this on the number line. The positive 4 is moving 4 steps to the right, so that's 4 steps to the right from, from 0, 4 steps to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4, let's write this down, 1, 2, 3, 4, but the negative is pulling it back 7 steps, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And as you can see, we arrive at minus 3. So my answer is minus 3. So here we have a question, minus 2, plus 3, minus 7, plus 2. How do we do this? Well, the first thing we do, we need to identify which terms are positive and which terms are negative. How do we do this? Remember what I said. We look at the left-hand side of each number to determine whether it is positive or or negative. So let's start off with this one. On the left hand side of this one is a minus sign, so therefore this is negative. It is moving towards the left. And on the left hand side of this number, there's a plus sign, therefore this is positive. It is moving towards the right. On the left hand side of 7, it's a minus, therefore it's moving towards the left, it is negative. And on the left-hand side of the 2, there's a plus sign, it is moving towards the right, it is positive. Now we need to do, uh, now what we need to do is that we need to combine the negative terms. We need to add the negative terms and add the positive terms. So let's first combine the negative terms, this one and that one. They combine to give me, 2 add 7 is 9, so they combine to give me minus 9. And the positive ones, positive 3 and positive 2, combine to give me positive 5. 
Now, what is minus 9 plus 5? Well, remember what I said. Are they in opposition or harmony? Clearly they are in opposition. The minus 9 is moving towards the left. The positive 5 is moving towards the right. Moving towards the left there and moving towards the right. Now, remember what I said. If they are in opposition, we subtract them. We work out the difference. What's 9 take away 5? 9 take away 5 is 4. Now, will my final answer be positive or negative? Well, that is determined by which one has the greater magnitude. Does the 9 have the greatest... Does the minus 9 have the greatest strength or the positive 5? Clearly, the negative number has the greater magnitude. That's moving 9 steps towards the left and this is moving only 5 steps towards the right. So the negative number will win. So my answer will be negative 4. So here we have a question. 10... Take away 7, take away 6. How do we do this question? Well, the first thing we need to do, we need to establish which terms, which numbers are positive and negative, i.e. which directions are they moving in. How do we do that? We look at the left-hand side of each number to determine whether it is positive or negative. The, what is on the left-hand side of 10? Well, clearly on the left-hand side of 10, there is nothing there. We have to assume that it is positive. Remember what I said, if there is a plus sign or there is nothing there, we have to assume that it is positive. So this is positive, it is moving towards the right. Now the next number 7, there is a minus sign on the left hand side, therefore it is a negative term, it is moving towards the left. And then the 6, on the left hand side, there is a minus there, therefore this term is negative 6, it is moving towards the left. Now, as you can see, they are, these two are in harmony, these two are moving in the same direction, therefore we can just combine them and they combine, they are in harmony, and remember what I said, when things are in harmony, we just add them. What's 7 add 6? 7 add 6 is 13, so that minus 7 and minus 6 combine to give me minus 13. And then you have the positive 10 there, positive 10. Now, clearly they are in opposition. The 10 is positive, it is moving towards the right, and the 13 is negative, it is moving towards the left. They are in opposition. Who will win in this struggle? Well, remember what I said, the one that has the greater magnitude will win. In this struggle, in this opposition, clearly the negative 13 has a greater magnitude. The 10 is smaller than the 13. So the negative 13 will win, therefore my answer will be negative. Now, remember what I said, that if they are in opposition, we just subtract them. The larger number take away the smaller number. In other words, we just work out the difference. What's 13 take away 10? Well, clearly 13 take away 10 is 3. So my final answer is minus 3. Now, you can visualize this on the number line. The 10 is moving 10 steps to the right. So let's do this. So 10 steps to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. But then after moving 10 steps to the right, it is moving 7 steps to the left and then another six steps. So let's do this. So from 10, seven steps to the left, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then another six steps, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now clearly you can see we arrive at minus three, which is the answer that we got. Now to summarize, if the numbers are moving in the same direction, we combine them. In other words, if they are in harmony, they are moving in the same direction, we just add them. 
Uh, so here we have two numbers, minus 7 and minus 2. Remember, to determine which direction a number is moving, we look at the left-hand side of the number. Now clearly this is, there's a minus there, it is moving towards the left. And the 2 has a negative on the left-hand side, though, therefore it is moving towards the left. They're both moving in the negative direction. They are both in harmony, and when they are in harmony, we just add the numbers. What is 7 add 2? 7 add 2 is 9, and don't forget the minus sign. Now, when they are in opposition, so let's give you an example. When they're in opposition, we subtract them. We subtract the numbers. So to give you an example, suppose we have... Um, let's say 10 minus 17 well the positive 10 well how do I know it's positive I look at the left hand side of the number there is nothing there we have to assume that this is positive the positive 10 is moving towards the right this number on the left hand side there's a minus there therefore it is negative it is moving towards the left now who will win in this opposition, in this struggle? Well, clearly, the number that has the greater magnitude will win. Well, clearly, the negative 17 has a greater magnitude than the positive 10. So, therefore, the negative will win. Therefore, my answer will be negative. And, when the, now, and because they are in opposition... They're moving in opposite direction. We just subtract them. We work out the difference. What 17 take away 10? 17 take away 10 is just 7. So my answer is 7. Minus 7 is my answer.